Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're going to discuss how to add TalkBack to a CB radio. A lot of CB radios these days come from with TalkBack from the factory, both in CB and export models. TalkBack is a feature that allows you to hear your voice through the internal speaker in the radio uh, as you're talking and transmitting so you can hear what your voice sounds like. It's a good way to test out different microphones. Um, also a good way to test out your echo or if you're running an echo either internally or on an echo microphone it allows you to hear what it sounds like uh, so you know it's a very good thing for making some adjustments uh, a lot of people don't like to have it on all the time so you do try and make it switchable on off or you have variable talk back and for radios that don't come with talk back there's some options on how to add it and that's what we're going to discuss uh, basically there's four different options uh, number one some radios do have the ability to have talkback uh, kind of already inside the radio and just to enable it you have to remove a resistor uh, some galaxy models some rci models etc if you go inside you remove a resistor and enables the talkback in the radio problem with that is it, it usually isn't very good uh, quality talkback it's always on for the most part unless you add a switch into it so it's not the greatest way to do it but it is possible on many radios a second option Many people like to add a universal talkback board. Uh, UTB1 is the one that's popular on the market right now. This is an actual circuit board you install on the radio. It has quite a few wires you wire in. And then it allows uh, talkback in all modes, uh, AM and single sideband modes. It's fairly good quality. It's variable and adjustable. And uh, the only thing about it is it's a little technical to install, so a lot of people do choose to have a CB shop install that for them. The last two methods of uh, adding talkback to radios that don't already have it uh, are more for radios that can have talkback added uh, via this method. And the method is uh, basically bridging the external speaker jack and the PA jack. And what that does is it enables talkback through the radio. Uh, it doesn't work on all radios, but it works on most of the older radios and some of the current ones as well. And there's two methods to doing that. Uh, one is to use an external talkback speaker, which you can get on the market these days, about twenty to thirty dollars. Uh, the other method is to add a resistor directly inside the radio, and that will enable the talkback always on. I'll show you how to do that today. And you can also add a variable pot doing it that method or a switch. So let me show you an external talkback speaker, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Okay, so this is an example of an external talkback speaker. This is a very cheap model. This is something I had in old stock, so. Uh, it's a variable talkback. It also has noise canceling built into it. Like I said, these are cheap. Uh, this model is not made anymore, but you can get these for about $20 to $30. Very simple to install. Basically, all you're doing is you're plugging this black plug into your external speaker jack, and you're plugging this red plug into your PA jack uh, on the back of the radio. That effectively bridges the gap uh, in the back of the radio there and runs it through a variable pod on the side of this external speaker. You can turn the talk back on. You can adjust the amount of talk back that you have. It also has this noise canceling uh, filter on it. Basically, cuts out some of the high hiss. Uh, this talk back speaker, it's not going to be the highest quality talk back compared to an internal talk back board from the factory necessarily, or a, a universal talk back board. But it is a simple, effective method. It works well on AM, on sideband. You're going to get some of that warble in there, so it's not going to be the highest quality. But for those of you who are doing talk back. Most of the time, you're testing it out on AM anyway. So the external talkback speaker, easy way to do this, uh, add talkback to a radio. Works on most radios, Cobra 21 GTL, 25s, 29s. Um, the, some of the radios it doesn't work on would be like uh, Cobra 146s, uh, Uniden 640Es, uh, you know, Magnum 257s, radios like that. You can't add talkback via this method, but uh, for the majority of other radios, Uniden 68s, 78s, this method works completely fine. So let me show you how we add a resistor inside the radio uh, and just give you an idea if you want to add talkback via that method. So for our example, we're going to use an old Cobra 21 GTL we had sitting around. And uh, like I said, this is probably the cheapest and you know basic method to add talkback to a radio. It's always on talkback. You can adjust the amount by the, the type of resistor that you use. So I'm going to show you the back of the radio, and then we'll open it up and show you where to put the resistor. So this is the back of the Cobra 21 GTL, and you'll see the two jacks on the right-hand side of the radio. There's a PA jack and an external speaker jack. Now to access these for where we're going to install our resistor, 
we'll be putting the resistor just across up here to connect the two uh, points, the solder points, on the back side of the board, the solder side of the board. Normally for most modifications in radios you do remove the uh, speaker side of the board. For this particular one you're just going to need to remove the top case so you don't have to worry about the internal speaker or anything. Okay, so this is the circuit solder side of the board inside the Cobra 21 GTL. Uh, somebody did have a talkback installed in here previously and it's been clipped out, so it's not the cleanest looking points for our connections, but uh, it works as a good example. Uh, our PA jack located on the back side of the radio here, this is the solder point at where it connects to the circuit board, and the external speaker jack over here connects right here. So all we're going to do is we're going to bridge this gap with a resistor, we'll just stick it across there. And you can choose different types of resistors. Uh, the ohms is what's going to make the big difference. So uh, a lot of people choose a like 47 ohm. Other people choose a 100 ohm. Uh, a 100 ohm is going to be a little quieter. 47 ohm is going to be a little bit louder. So the ohms determine whether it's going to be a loud or quiet talkback. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, resistor and you're basically just going to solder it in like this connecting the two points you want to make sure that none of the metal from uh, the resistor is touching any of the other points on the radio and you can get it so it sits flush you know nicely in there on most radios uh, once you soldered it in that's it the talkback becomes enabled so let me uh, hook this up so we can kind of give an example of how the talkback works once this gets installed Okay, I'm going to show you how to bridge this uh, just using the resistor and holding it in place using some pliers. I don't recommend this normally because if you do drop the pliers, you could uh, bugger up your radio pretty good. So uh, I'm going to give an example first. I've keyed up the microphone and you're not going to hear any audio coming back through the radio. And now what we're going to do is we're going to install this while we've got it keyed up. Audio 123, 123. Now hopefully that came through, you can hear the talk back coming back through the radio now. Um, so that was like a 47 ohm uh, uh, resistor. Uh, 100 ohms is going to be a little quieter, so it depends on how much audio you have running. Now we've turned down the dynamic on the radio. We had a power microphone, desk microphone we were using here, so uh, you can run into problems with feedback quite easily. If you have a radio that has lots of audio, the audio has been turned up, and you add a 47 ohm resistor, you might get a lot of feedback every time you key up, and you can't really hear the talk back without turning the mic gain down, which is going to affect your signal on the air. So uh, you may want to play around with the, the resistors and make sure you're not getting feedback. You can also use a variable uh, pot, like I said, something you can buy at Radio Shack. You can install that, one, one wire to one side, one wire to the other jack, and what that will do is allow you to have the variable much like the external speaker. Uh, so hopefully this has given you a little idea of what it takes just to install a resistor to get talk back in a radio. It's very simple to do. Just would solder it in, and uh, once you do that, you're done. You have talk back.